Connie loves construction. Connie is 10, a sweet little girl. She can be anything she wants in the world. She loves to wear dresses. In her hair, she wears braids. She loves making art and playing charades. But after playing with dolls and pretending all day, there's nothing that's left to get in her way. She turns all her attention and all of her skills to something she loves with no glitz and no frills. She picks up her hammer and grabs her toolbox. She makes a tall building from cardboard and blocks. She knows that someday she will build one that's real out of iron and concrete and long beams of steel. Construction's her passion. She loves to create. She puts on her hard hat. She just can't wait. Connie dreams of designing great things with her hands, but some of her friends, they just don't understand. She tells them all she can do anything. One day, she'll build schools with playgrounds and swings. One day, she build towers that reach to the sky. Her friends just look at her and ask Connie, why? She then tells them construction is just so much fun and you have something great when you are all done. Her friends are now curious and want to know more. So she takes them right down to the best hardware store. Connie's mom and dad join them all for the trip to look at the pliers and wrenches and clips. Once they arrive, Connie rushes inside, puts her hands on her hips, and stares with wide eyes. She shows off the ladders, the hammers, the saws, and the bins full of bolts and nails right by the door. She points out the gloves, safety glasses, and files. They look at each shelf and examine each aisle. Then she walks them out back, and what do they see? a sight that makes Connie dizzy with glee. There, parked before them, are trucks of all kinds and safety first written on big orange signs. Bulldozers and dump trucks, cement mixers and more. Excavators and cranes turn on engines and roar. Connie and her friends all clap and scream when right there before them is a construction team. The workers get ready, grab tools and their gear. They wave to the kids and then she appears. One construction worker walks up to the crew. She looks right at Connie and Connie just knew. It was a woman with a hard hat and key. Just what little Connie someday wished to be. She asks Connie's parents if the kids want to see the inside of the trucks, and they all agree. Connie is first and hops up inside. She is ready for a wild construction crew ride. She tries all the levers, buttons, and gears, moves the big scoop in front without even a fear. She gets to see tools, so many in fact. The woman says, this one you don't have to give back. She gives Connie a tape measure and then walks away. It's the one Connie uses to this very day. She brings it to use on her construction sites when she builds skyscrapers that soar to great heights. Connie knew she could do it. She truly did. Even when she was a curious, creative young kid. Anyone can do it, whatever you like. Cooking, construction, or building cool bikes. Just believe in yourself and follow your dreams, even if they are made up of hammers and beans. Make something wonderful, whatever you do. Stay true to your passion and stay true to you.